Well, Glenda and Heather, election workers here say they just weren't prepared for this very large voter turnout. But that's something voters say it was not a good enough excuse. Waiting in line, some for hours. Not an experience many people were anticipating, but no one was turning around. And I will stand in this line until I get my vote in. Two precincts in Redford ran out of Democratic ballots. They ran out at this precinct twice, and some people left and waited in line twice. Somebody done worked all day and then come up here and then turn around and have to go back and come back again, and you got the same situation. Precinct workers say they weren't prepared for this turnout of Democratic voters. Regardless how many uh, people come out and vote, there should be a plenty. They should not run out of ballots, period. I'm really kind of disgusted because it is an election. You would think ballots would be an automatic assumption that you should have enough of those. So. Everyone waiting in line at 8 o'clock was guaranteed a chance to vote. Paper ballots were brought in and will be hand counted. Some were questioning the authenticity, while precinct workers were upset they were being questioned. It's to me a setup to fail. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable at all, especially about this election. I'm not feeling comfortable at all. All of those votes will be counted, but it will be a late night here for precinct workers. They are still inside counting the votes right now, and the last voter left here just around 9.30 tonight. So again, a long night for people waiting to vote. Some of the people wearing their stickers as they left said they really earned that sticker tonight. Live in Redford, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.